Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Phoenix and I am here to do another review. I'm going to be reviewing the Exploration Cruiser Refit. Now, let's, without further ado, let's go and get the information on this ship. There it is. So there it is. So what we get is a Lieutenant Tactical Station, a Commander Engineer, a Lieutenant Engineering, a Lieutenant Science, and an Ensign Science. You get three, um, tat uh, sorry, three Engineering Consoles, two Tactical, and three Science. For weapons, you get four in the front, three in the back, a base hull of 32,500, a shield modifier of one, a base crew of 1,000, base turn rate of six, and four device slots. Uh, you can obtain this ship through the uh, Zen store um, at uh, tier four, which is, I believe, Captain. Um, you also get plus five power to all subsystems, the cruiser communications array. Uh, you get uh, the four, you get the strategic, strategic maneuvering, shield frequency modulation, weapon system efficiency, and attract fire. You also get a special console, which is the antimatter spread module. So, just so you're aware that you get that. And I will go into more detail on what that does. Looking at the ship, you can see it is quite identical to the Enterprise D. Um, you have the large oval saucer section, um, but you have this piece right here that um, goes over top of it. So, um, I'm not sure if it will separate from the module or not, or from the hull. Um, but it does look like it can, because uh, right here there's a break where the saucer meets the neck. And so that could possibly be uh, the way it separates. Um, but the other thing that I'm noticing here is there's a piece underneath which would hold it there. So maybe um, this saucer section here comes out and you still have like this little chevron thing coming out here and on the bottom who knows um you have the neck here which is a lot wider and rounder at the uh at the front here and then uh it uh lines out and then it comes closes back in near the back here where there is a shuttle bay at the base of the neck here. The neck is a nice gradual slope down, nice and smooth. There is two small little impulse engines there. There's two bigger impulse engines um, at the base of the saucer section here. You have the deflector dish, which is a nice round oval. Um, but then there's uh, some space here and so it's pushed back here, and I don't know if those are vents. Uh, they most definitely would not be um, shuttle bays. They don't look like they would be, yeah, they, those don't look like shuttle bays at all. Um, looks like you have, like, little phaser arrays here. Um, so then you have this small piece here that's a nice round um, but short, and then it slopes upwards and back. And then you have the pylons here, which is uh, attached to the base of the uh, the hull here. Um, so they uh, they kind of curve back um, at the front here, and it's a nice straight edge at the back. And they both slope upwards and forwards where the nacelles are attached. And then you have the nacelles, which, um, let me see here, nacelles, so let's look at the galaxy. Yeah, so they're almost similar. They're a lot smaller. Well, not a lot, but they are smaller. Um, they have this piece here um, to hold in the these, I guess, ram scoops. And then it's uh, that's pretty much it. That's that's uh, holding those in there. There's nothing else protecting it, kind of like the Enterprise D. And then you have them. Um, they they they're on an angle here when they go to the back, and then they. Uh, do a nice little round curve, almost points at the back, and then you have this this uh, hull plating just above where the warp nacelle is. You can see some of the warp nacelle here and on the sides, 
and even on the bottom there's a small piece where you can see the uh, the warp nacelle here so that's and that's it for the uh, design of the ship so you can change anything here you can change the interior of it um, so you can do that you can change your windows you can change change your material you get type 1 through 7 you can change your colors you can change anything even the Andromeda if you have it which I do not at this time you can change your pattern and your fleet logo so that is that so next we're gonna go and take a look at it while uh, uh, we're gonna look at uh, uh, my uh, my loadout and then we're gonna go out and do an STF so this is my loadout for what I got going here. Um, I have anti-proton beam array with accuracy, critical hit, and damage. I have two of them there. Um, and I have one in the back as well. I have a dual anti-proton beam bank, which has uh, accuracy, critical hit, and damage, which is probably the same. Yeah, which is the same as these. I have the adaptive transphasic torpedo which is going to do more damage to Borg with the damage times three modifier. Um, for my deflector, I have the Kabali deflector. For impulse, I have the Solonite hyper efficiency. For warp core, I have the overcharged warp core. And then for shields, I have the resilient shield. So those should uh, help out. Uh, for the aft weapons, I have the ancient omnidirectional beam array. And then I have the kinetic cutting beam in the back with another anti-proton beam array. For devices, I have the Nimbus Pirate, uh, Pirate Distress Call, subspace field modulator, shield, and weapons battery. For engineering, I have three RCS accelerators. Now, um, normally I would have neutroniums, but I don't think I'm going to need them uh, when I do my STF. For science, I have the assimilated module and a field generator. And then for tactical, I have two anti-proton mag regulators. So this is the universal console. This is the antimatter spread. So it does uh, PB area of effect, placid, confused, uh, debuff perception, five kilometer radius. It does minus 4,850 perception for 12 seconds, plus one confused for 12 seconds, placid for 12 seconds, disables area map for 12 seconds. Um, now you can add other um, uh, consoles here you can get the uh, saucer separation with the exploration cruiser retrofit you can have that on there and then you can get the uh, universal console the molecular cohesion nullifier which is the Andromeda uh, ship that they released not that long ago probably about a month or so ago I'm hazy on dates so um, and then you get uh, a two set and a three set bonus so I'm not going to go over that just right now, but um, just so that you are aware that you can have those uh, sets and those bonuses along with it. So that's that. And then next, oh, um, for stations, for the lieutenant station, I have um, high yield one and overload two. For commander engineering, I have engineering team one. Directed energy modulation one, reverse shield polarity two, and ace ton beam three. And then for the lieutenant engineering, I have engine uh, sorry emergency power to shields one, and emergency power to weapons one or two. For lieutenant science, science team one, and hazard emitters two. And then for the ensign science, I have transfer shield strength one. So that's for um, for any friends and allies that uh, are hurting for shields, I can just give them a boost in shields. So that's that. And then traits, um, nothing really changes here. Uh, I have accurate, astrophysicist, EPS manifold efficiency, uh, elusive, techy, warp uh, theorist, uh, grace under fire, and living hull. I still don't have any starship traits. But for space reputations, I have the Omedic Kinetic Shearing, Enhanced Shield Penetration, Superior Shield Repair, and Fortify Hull. So that is that for 
all of that. Um, you can't upgrade this to a T5U because it's not a T5. It is a T4. Uh, I believe the T5U is with the retrofit version of this, which does come with the separ uh, saucer separation module. So with that, I am going to uh, load up an STF and uh, we'll see how well this ship performs. <laughs> All right, and we are off. Off to the races. Whoa. That was not cool. I don't have no idea what happened there. I was probably too close to that poor cube when it exploded. That's probably what happened. Because that should have never happened. Oops. I think I just knocked a hornet's nest here. Come on, come on, oh. Well, oh, there I go. Damn it. Where the heck are my sh- oh, that stupid gate. No, do not fire at that thing. Do not fire at that thing. Jesus. There, uh, I should confuse it for a bit.
Oh, there we go. Wow, not too bad. Um, so yeah, for uh, for a T four ship, it's not too too bad. Um, now, I again, I probably should have used uh, neutroniums and still RCS accelerators, but you know, it's uh, what I decided to go with because I wanted a better turn rate instead. Because um, the cruisers tend, with especially when it comes to turn rate, are not as great, not like an escort. Um, turn rate is much better here than it would be without them. Um, other than that, uh, it's, a, it's a good ship. Um, the console is pretty good, the antimatter spread. Um, once it confuses your enemies and they're not firing at you, at, uh, that's a nice little rebreather. Um, but I mean, those gates are so overpowered that, you know, one hit kill is what you see there sometimes. But other than that, that is my review. Thank you for watching. Live long and prosper. And as always, we'll see you out there.